Hello and good afternoon. My name is Dave Buckland and welcome back to Dave Buckland's American English School. I am currently on vacation in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I live in Baltimore, Maryland. Again, welcome back to Dave Buckland's American English School. Please subscribe for the latest videos and comment below with what you'd like to learn about in this English class. Today, we'll talk about places around town, like the auto repair shop, auto parts store, bank, barber shop, beauty salon, car wash, dentist, doctor, and emergency room. We'll start with the auto repair shop. Here is a picture of an auto repair shop. Auto repair shop. I am going to the auto repair shop because my car won't start, isn't running well, was in an accident, needs repair, or needs an oil change. Cars routinely need maintenance and repair at the auto repair shop. Auto repair shop. And the auto parts store. Here is a picture of an auto parts store. I am going to the auto parts store because my car needs a part, like a windshield wiper, oil, windshield wiper fluid, etc. Auto parts stores are good for smaller things where an auto repair shop isn't necessary. Here is a picture of a bank. Bank. I am going to the bank to open a checking or savings account. I am going to the bank to get some cash or money or deposit a check. Part of the bank is the bank ATM, which is a machine typically outside of the bank where you can withdraw money or deposit money or a check. Bank ATM. I am going to the bank ATM to withdraw or deposit money. ATM stands for automated teller machine. And next we have barber shop. A barber shop is typically for a man. I am going to the barber shop to get a haircut, hair styled, and a shave. Normally, men go to barber shops and women go to beauty salons. Here is a picture of a beauty salon. Normally, beauty salons are for a woman. I am going to the beauty salon to get a haircut, hair styled hair highlighted, and eyebrow wax. Normally, women go to the beauty salon and men go to barber shop. And next we have car wash. Here is a picture of a car wash. 
I am going to the car wash to clean my car. I'm going to the car wash because my car is dirty. Next, we have dentist. Here is a picture of a dentist and a patient. Dentist. I am going to the dentist for my annual checkup and cleaning. I'm going to the dentist because I have a toothache. We go to the dentist for our teeth and the doctor for the rest of our body. And next we have, excuse me, doctor. Here's a picture of a doctor with medicine and his patient. Doctor, I am going to the doctor for my annual physical. I am going to the doctor because I've been sick for several days. The doctor helps us when we are sick or we need an annual physical. Emergency room. I am going to the emergency room because I'm seriously injured broken bone, head injury, etc., or hurt. And it can't wait until the doctor is available. It's an emergency. You need help right now. I need the emergency room if I need to be cared for right now without delay. Here is a picture of an emergency room with doctors, nurses, and a patient that is being cared for. Again, this is Dave Buckland's American English School. Please subscribe for the latest videos and comment below with what you'd like to learn about in this English class. And we'll start, we'll go through it one more time. We'll start with Auto repair shop. Auto repair shop. I am going to the auto repair shop because my car won't start. Isn't running well. Was in an accident. Needs repair or needs an oil change. Cars routinely need maintenance and repair at the auto repair shop, auto repair shop. For smaller things, you might go to the auto parts store, auto parts store. I am going to the auto parts store because my car needs a part like a windshield wiper, oil, windshield wiper fluid, etc. Auto parts stores are good for smaller things where an auto repair shop isn't necessary. Auto parts store. Bank, bank. I am going to the bank to open a checking or savings account. I am going to the bank to get some cash, money, or deposit a check. Bank. Part of the bank is the bank ATM. It's a machine that is outside of the bank and you can withdraw money or deposit money or a check. Bank ATM. I am going to the bank ATM to withdraw or deposit money. ATM stands for automated 
teller machine, bank ATM. Barbershop, barbershop, normally for a man. I am going to the barbershop to get a haircut, hair styled, and a shave. Normally men go to barbershop and women go to beauty salons. Barbershop. Beauty salon. Normally, a beauty salon is for a woman. I am going to the beauty salon to get a haircut, hair style, hair highlighted, and eyebrows waxed. Normally, women go to normally women go to the beauty salon, and men go to barber shop. Beauty salon. Car wash. Car wash. I am going to the car wash to clean my car. I'm going to the car wash because my car is dirty. Car wash. Dentist, dentist, I am going to the dentist for my annual checkup and cleaning. I'm going to the dentist because I have a toothache. We go to the dentist for our teeth and the doctor for the rest of our body. Dentist, here is the dentist. And here is the patient. Here we have a doctor. Doctor. I am going to the doctor for my annual physical. I am going to the doctor because I've been sick for several days. The doctor helps us when we are sick or we need an annual physical. Here is the doctor with medicine, and here is the patient's doctor. Emergency room. Emergency room. I am going to the emergency room because I'm seriously injured. Broken bone head injury, etc., or hurt. It can't wait until the doctor is available. I need the emergency room if I need to be cared for right now without delay. Emergency room. Here are doctors and nurses and the patients in the emergency room. We've been talking about places around town, auto repair shop, auto parts store, bank, barber shop, beauty salon, car wash. Dentist, doctor, and emergency room. Again, this is Dave Buckland's American English School. My name is Dave Buckland. Please subscribe for the latest videos and comment below. Let me know what you'd like to learn about in this English class. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.